Hey, Chandler Bolt here, CEO and founder of Self Publishing School. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how self-publishing works. So really, I'm gonna answer three big questions. So where do you publish through? how do royalties work, and then what are self-publishers responsible for? Now we've got a separate video that compares between self-publishing and traditional publishing and kind of helps you figure out um, which one you should choose based on your circumstance. So definitely check that out if you're still on the fence or if you're not sure where to go first. But if you are self-publishing, and I guess that you are, that's why you're here, or you're at least considering it, then there's these three big things that we gotta tackle. So number one, where do you publish through? Well, not many people know this, but over 70% of all books sold are sold on Amazon. Amazon. So traditionally, you needed an agent, you needed a publisher, and you needed to get distribution because unless you got your book in bookstores, it wasn't going to sell. Well, now over 70% of all books sold are sold on Amazon. So now you just have to get on Amazon to sell a lot of books. And then there are other ecosystems and ways that you can sell books in addition to that. But by far for self publishers, that's the best and first place to start. So there's a couple things there. There's KDP. So Kindle direct publishing. And then there's also KDP print. So this was formerly known as create space. Uh, and this is a print on demand printing, shipping, fulfillment. So really what happens here when you're going through print on demand is when someone buys a copy of your print book, they print it, pack it, ship it, do all the fulfillment, and they just cut you a check. So the big difference here is instead of having to buy 100, 1,000, 10,000 copies of your book, sitting on those in a warehouse or sitting on those in your garage, and maybe you know someone who's got like 1,000 copies of their book in their garage, right? No longer do you have to do that because of print on demand. So that's really where you're gonna publish through is mostly through Amazon. You've got KDP, so Kindle Direct Publishing. You've got KDP Print, which helps with the printing and fulfillment. And then you've got ACX, which is the Audiobook Creation Exchange. So that's really the division of Amazon that handles audiobooks. And then that also helps you get into other places where audiobooks are sold. Now question number two, how do royalties work? Well, really the awesome thing about this shift in the industry away from traditional publishing and towards self-publishing is that there's a lot less middlemen, right? So there's a whole lot less people that are taking money out of your pocket. So whether it's an agent, whether it's the publisher, whether it's the bookstore, whether it's all those things, right? You're losing money as an author in every one of those spots. Well, as a self-published author, you actually just get a cut of the royalties when it sells on Amazon or whatever other store. So uh, it's pretty exciting and it's actually a lot more than if you were to go the traditionally published route. Now the royalties vary depending on whether it's a print book, uh, audio book, or a Kindle book. And so you can go anywhere from 25% or 20% on the very low end for print books, depending on kind of the size of your book, the width of your book, the dimensions, whether it's a standard size, black and white, how many pages, all those things. That affects your profit margin on the actual print books. Then on the audiobook side of things, it's between 20 to 40% that you're gonna make on those royalties uh, if you publish through ACX. And then on the Kindle side of things, you can make between 35 to 70% of those royalties. Now, this is different from traditional publishing where you'll make 10 to 13% approximately, you know, based on kind of the length of your book, how good your contract is, all those things. So royalties work a whole lot better when you self-publish and that's how they work. So question number three, what are self-publishers responsible for? So I would say that if there's one reason that people choose not to self-publish, this is it. And that's because when you traditionally publish, they handle just about everything. Now, I've heard horror stories from a lot of friends who traditionally publish and they said, hey, I had to hire a, my own editor even though I had an editor with my publisher. I had to hire someone to send them book covers because the book covers that they sent me weren't very good. But they are going to handle most things. So when you traditionally publish, they're gonna handle just about everything everything for you. Now you're obviously paying a price for that and taking less royalties and all the hoops that you have to jump through and things like that. Um, but that's how that works. Now on the self-publishing side of things, you have to do just about everything or hire people to do those things. So I mean, submitting your book, I mean, getting cover design, getting it edited, getting it formatted, all these things, right? Now, the good news is this costs a whole lot less than you'd think and you can actually save a ton of money in this process if you know what you're doing. So when we're working with people at self-publishing school, this is one of the big reasons that people work with us is because we save them a ton of money in this process and just make this very streamlined. Now the benefit of doing it this way is you have ultimate control. So that's kind of the cool thing. Whereas when you're traditionally published, it's like, you don't have full control over your title, over what cover you choose, because they have input and they can override your input, <laughs> right? So you have full freedom, creativity, and control over here on the self-published side of things, but then also you have control of the actual book. 
which I cannot overstate this. So many of my friends have traditionally published and then what ends up happening is that you get to the end of that process and you realize, oh, I can't run ads for my book. I can't see sales data. There's all these things that you lose access to because the publisher published it for you and you do not have that login. So there's kind of some trade-offs, right? You're gonna do more work, you're gonna save more money and you're also gonna have more control in the process. So there you have it. That's how self-publishing works. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're someone who's kind of in the process, we've got two super helpful resources for you. Number one, you can get a free copy of my book published. All you have to do is click the link along with this video. Uh, and all that we ask is that you pay shipping and handling. And this is kind of like a 10,000 foot view, helping you go from blank page to published author in as little as 90 days. So that's really helpful. And then while you're waiting on that to be shipped to you, the second thing is you got some really helpful training. So this is a 45 minute to an hour long training where I go kind of in depth and build on what I just talked about in this video on how to write and publish your book and market that successfully. So you can click the link along with this video to access that training. Now, last thing, comment below. Let me know. Have you guys some horror stories about traditionally publishing, self-publishing? Were there any misconceptions that I was able to clear up in this video or maybe what was your favorite part or most helpful tip in this video comment below there's a whole lot of misinformation out there about the publishing industry and about self-publishing so i'm super passionate about this i'd love to hear your feedback and then the very last thing click the subscribe button along with this video subscribe to this channel we got a whole lot of really really good videos coming out soon that's going to help you navigate this process of writing publishing, self-publishing, all that good stuff. So click the link right below this video, along with this video, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.